coming in. Just been watching this film on telly, right? It's only three o'clock on Sunday afternoon. It was Let Him Have It. You know the true story about when Derek Bentley got hanged for no reason? What a depressing film that is. I mean, I've got it in there, I've seen it a few times, and but lots of bits of it were cut out because it's on the TV and it's early on a Sunday, probably. Anyway, we're not here to talk about bloody films. It's Sunday afternoon, isn't it? And we all know what that means, Hammerheads. Sunday song recommendation time. And this week, something a little bit different again. For a start, it's not a mammoth ten minuter like they normally are. This one is actually five and a half minutes long. From 1980. Mm, from the album Jeopardy by the band The Sound. Brilliant album that. I mean, it's even got the lyrics on the song. But all the songs I recommend have lyrics. I'll just never mention them, that's all. The song I'm going to recommend off this album is Missiles. Yep, I mean this is vinyl so it's the last song on side one. Brilliant song this, Missiles. Well, it's about nuclear missiles do you lots of damage. <laughs> I mean the first verse is deep in the country where the factories hide where they make the missiles that run our lives. The band consisted of Graham Green, frontman Adrian Borland, B. Marshall, keyboards, Michael Dudley, I mean she on the keyboards it was the only album she was on. She wasn't on any of others. I mean these formed in 1979 and it took them well it didn't take them very long to get a record contract and this is a very raw album which I love. They don't make them like this anymore. It was done on a very tight budget it's just brilliant, this song. The whole album's brilliant. But I just thought I'd choose this song because it's the longest song on the album. Um, brilliant. I remember seeing these on the old grey whistle test in the early 80s. I mean, these are like a, a new wave kind of band, you know. They never seemed to... They couldn't manage to break away from the cult status. I mean, they split up in 1988. Adrian Borland, he embarked on a solo career, but for some strange reason in 2000 or 2001 or something, he threw himself in front of an express train in Wimbledon Station. Why? Then again, you listen to the lyrics on their albums and he wasn't a happy chappy. <laughs> I've got the second album on vinyl as well. From the Lion's Mouth, 81. And I've got another album on vinyl, Heads and Hearts from 1985, and the rest of them I've downloaded on to iTunes and that, you know. God, me guts. I had these friggin' tacos last night, right? Me and Sal. Fucking red out the were. Oh, they were nice, though. So, the sound and the song, Missiles. And... You know, starts off, the keyboard creeps up, brilliant bass line throughout. Then the guitar. <laughs> Never mind. Brilliant and the guitar solo in it. It's just like a very, very angry one. It's been described on certain forums as very Thatcher-esque. <laughs> because it was the days of when the country was all miserable because Thatcher was hammering it into the ground, you know what I mean? But like I say, 
wrap your ears around this song because it's a very good bloody well song and now I shall love you and leave you because I got a lot of things to do today ho 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 incidentally this is extremely rare I saw this on Amazon a number of years ago for 500 and odd pound I've never seen it since <laughs> so I shall have to look after this like gold dust. See you later, Hammerheads. Oi, mate! I'm trying to get some 